Hello. So today we decided to come to the lighthouse. Oop, almost tripped. For a walk, jog, run. It was a nice trail. It's a beautiful day today. Just get our workout in. Get closer. Oh, I'm done. Okay, I'm winded. I said I wanted to see three lizards today. So far I've seen two. Oh my god, I'm so winded. I don't jog usually. So I'm training to jog. I want to become faster. I want to be able to I want to be able to run. Yeah, I have to work my way up there. Okay, I saw like seven lizards already. They keep trying to trip me. They keep running across my path. I have to jump. So we're done. I ended up seeing like 13 lizards, so that's cool. Anyways, now I'm tired, ready to go home. Good morning. I just finished working out. Today I did arms and I'm on my way to Home Goods. I have not been to Home Goods for about three years, going on to four, three and a half. I don't know why. I just maybe because there's so many cute things and i feel like i'm gonna lose control and just buy everything and i really don't want to clutter my house with so much decor the only reason why i'm going today after so long is because i'm looking for decorative pillows for my couch um the ones i have are okay i mean i usually buy the pillowcases at, at ikea but i'm looking for something different today i'm gonna put my new shoe cubby together and also some rugs that i got so I'm super excited and I was like, you know what? Let me go get pillows to kind of go with that decor. So I'm super excited to do this today. Hopefully you get everything done today. It should be easy. So I'm just gonna clean up and then put the new rugs and put the new cubby together. Hopefully this will solve the cubby issue, but we'll see. But I found something that I really liked that I wanna make more use of that space. So you'll see once I start putting it together, I think it's gonna look great. And it's gonna kind of change the atmosphere a bit, you know, bring, more great French ray in. Uh, first, I'm gonna go to Costco and get some gas and then to Home Goods. I was wondering why am I squinting? It's just it's so bright and I don't have my sunglasses on. Now the outside of my car is really clean, but the inside, it's a different story. <laughs> I have so much sand in here. I have like pounds of sand. Not to mention my trunk, it's crazy. Maybe I'll show you really quick. So much sand, I have to clean it up. And this is my trunk. Toys and boogie boards and chairs and pounds and pounds of sand. But hey, that's what happens when you live close to the beach, you know? You go often to the beach, there's always sand everywhere. But at least my car is clean, nice and shiny. And now I'm going in, so wish me luck. Halloween already? Whoa! Oh my god! Oh, shiny things! Oh. oh my god, I don't know where to go. So many things. Let me start right here. <laughs> stuff I love. Holy monkey. Oh man, I think this might have been a mistake because I'm gonna be here for a long, long time. Oh my god. I'm kind of overwhelmed by the amount of things they have here. Or the pillows. I think I found the pillows. Pillow heaven. 
Okay, I need a shopping cart. They are all color coordinated. Awesome. Like this one right here. I'm also looking for different sizes of pillows. Like not just one size. I'm looking for different shapes. Let me keep looking. I can't decide so many options. <laughs> I will buy it all. Oh my god, I had to run because otherwise I was gonna buy everything. At one point, I had like 10 things in my cart and I was like, oh my God, it's just insane. Oh, but I did find pillows that I really, really liked and I did end up buying two more things other than the pillows. I'll show you next. Okay guys, so this also turned out to be a Costco shopping haul. <laughs> I had to do some groceries, so this is all I got and I don't know, I don't have much space in my car because as you saw, the trunk is full of stuff. Hopefully it all fit. Everything was able to fit. Yay. All right, so I thought I'd do a mini Costco haul. And this is what I got. Some greens for smoothies and also for food. My little one loves these snacks, so I like the fact that it has so many of them in one pack. Cauliflower, Brussels, hippies. You guys know I love it. Uh, blueberries, strawberries, hamburgers, grapes, both kinds. We do love both kinds. I love the cedar ones too, but my kids don't like it, so I don't buy it as often, only when I crave for it, but they taste different to me, and I love them. Here I bought these because I wanted to try and see how these were. They're like snack-sized ones. I love frozen fruit. Mango chunks, broccoli, whole lot of tofu, apples, we got here oranges, bananas, and nectarines. I bought a lot of certain stuff because I don't want to go back all the time to Costco. I go to Costco probably once, twice per month, you know, when I fill up my gas. And that's when I take up energy. A tofu, a lot of fruits, and the Beyond Meat. And I almost forgot, I also got this. Dave's Killer Bread. Now you want to see what I got from Home Goods? Ta-da! So I got these pillows. Oh, I love them. It's so great, I love the colors in the different patterns, so it's so cool. I also got, because I couldn't help it, sheets. And these are King, 100% cotton, 300 thread count, and it was 70 bucks. So this is in gray. I saw another one in a different color, and I was like, should I get it? But first I wanna try these because they feel really soft. This is how I like them. And I got pillows for my kids, two pillows. And this is from Sealy, and it was 25 bucks. For two because I wanted to switch the pillows already. All right, so now I have to work on the rugs. I'm changing the rugs that I have, my, that I have in my living room, not the entry ones because I'm still looking for the design that I want. So once I find it, I'll show you. But right now, it's staying there. The only thing I'm changing right now the living room rug, the dining room rug, and the shoe cubby, which I'm excited about, and adding my pillows to the couch. So Yay. Oh my god, these are so dusty though. I have to clean these shoes. These are black and they look gray, like brown gray. And these are from the hike we took Saturday. Look at these. Oh my god. That's why my, my black ones were like so dusty. But I really have to clean them. I'm not putting them like this in a new shoe cubby. Definitely not. let me tell you about this table right here i love the look it's a contemporary look water fell on this and it stained it i might sand this and refinish it and i love the look of it because it's mid-century modern but the only bad thing about this design with three legs is that it just could tilt over anywhere i have broken so many plant pots because of this table because it has three legs every time somebody just hits it it goes sideways. So easy, because it doesn't have the fourth leg. I will always recommend to get a table with four legs. Just side note, but I still love the look of this table and I just don't put plants on them anymore. And I thought about adding a fourth leg, but I don't think I'm that handy. <laughs> All right, so I just measured the area because I wanna see where I'm gonna place the rug. It is an eight by 10, so it is much bigger than the, one, the last one I had. So this is what I got from Wayfair and this is the brand right here. Since Gray blue. Did I order the gray blue? Yeah, yeah, this is it. <laughs> um, 
I think I'm gonna have to move this couch. And I can't move it by myself, so I'm gonna need my husband to help me. Luckily, he's home. Babe! He's like, what happened? Can you help me? Are you busy? Okay, so I quickly went to pick up my son from school and he brought like a whole pound of wood chips in his shoe. And this is how the rug looks. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh man, I can't wait to put everything on its place. It's gonna look so nice. So now I'm ready to put my decorative pillows on the couch. I usually follow the feng shui chart, the bagua chart for my home decor. So I kind of know which one I want to put where. Usually my entrance is the black, maybe blue area. And that's what I'm going to use, the black and the blue. And then on this side, which falls kind of the yellow, warm area, I'm going to use the, um, the burnt red and the yellow. So let's see how that looks. I like that. So if you're not familiar with feng shui, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. Basically, it's the way the energy flows in your house, you know, when it comes in. And it has a bagua chart. A chart which tells you what colors should be in certain areas of the home. And I always found this fascinating. So I always follow it. I would say practicing feng shui is like a lifelong journey, you know, because you could always add to the decoration in your home and you could feel the peace and you could feel all this good energy that flows around it. It's so crazy. I am a firm believer of feng shui. It, I've seen it work, it has worked for us and my family just loves it. If I find a link, I'll leave it in the description down below so you guys can check it out. So this is the chart right here. So if you want to, you could just screenshot it. So I'm still here figuring out what, how I want to decorate certain things. Right now I do have this tape right here because I'm going to move the mirror that I have in my dining room and put it here on top of the new cubby. It's this mirror right here. I was just trying to measure it to see if it's going to fit there because I want it to be in the middle. Now I have to move on to the shoe cubby. I do want to find a way to hide this thing here. I think I've seen some cable covers, but I'm going to figure it out. I think I've seen a black box. So now I'm gonna cut the tags because these are here to stay. And I'm not sure if I share with you guys how much all this cost, but the pills were, I would say 25, 25 that's 50, 30 plus 20. Yeah, total of $100 in pillows. But this purchase I only make probably once every four to five years. The pills I have is still somewhat okay. Some of them are already done, but um, I'm still gonna use them somewhere else. So a hundred bucks for really nice decorative pillows, which I'm also gonna change the covers. I'm not really gonna buy new pillows every time. These are removable and I like the shape of them. So definitely gonna invest in covers later on. So here are the tags. Okay, so here is the final product and I really, really like it. Now I'm gonna make sure it's center on the, where the mirror is gonna go. I'm gonna measure it a little bit and then I'm gonna start putting in the shoes. I wanna put some baskets here for our sunglasses, sunblock, and maybe, you know, masks. But I think it's gonna look good. I think it's gonna have enough space for our, all of our shoes. Maybe two, two pairs and one sandal. Okay, so here's a basket with our glasses. And I think I'm gonna get more of these to put under here. Probably like two more. I got these from Ikea, so it fits perfect.
Ta-da! All right, so this is what I got. And I love it. I think it's so practical. I don't really have an entryway, so I think this is perfect. I usually put the ottoman here so we could sit down and put our shoes as we go out and it's just much more practical for us. So I'm really happy with how it looks. It just really looks different in here. I just love it. Here I'm gonna still look for the mat and the runner that I like, but for now this is gonna stay there. I just put a plant there because I thought it would look nice. I still don't know what I'm gonna put on top there, but definitely minimum decor. Oh no, my tripod broke. I had this tripod for so long, years. Ah, I was hoping I could get a little more usage out of it, but yeah, it's done. Just a piece tripod, you did good. Okay, so here's the carpet I have for the dining room. And yeah, it's seen better days before. This is disintegrating already because of usage, because we crossed by here. So yeah, it's time to let it go and change it. I love the pattern. I think it looks great. And once I get to work on this wall, it's gonna look even better. So yeah, I'm very happy with these rugs. Love them. And eventually I will switch this runner too. There's all right kids playing out there. Hopefully the noise doesn't get picked up by this camera. All right, so I'm gonna close this video here because I am exhausted, but I'm very happy with how everything turned out. I just love everything and how it came together. So I will leave all the links in the description box down below if you guys are interested. Now my husband and I are gonna put something together to eat and then we're just going to relax. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy going shopping, putting furniture together and redecorating with me. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and become part of my little YouTube family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!